So here we are, part four of Bodo Hag's Origami Basilisk tutorial, version two. It is, well, we have just finished the main pre-creasing. I didn't pre-crease the scales you can if you want, or the leg scales. But here I'm going to be showing you how to collapse this model. So, let's get started. I'm going to start by, okay, I'm going to start right here by making these folds. This and pleating that. So, start by folding this edge behind. Just like that. I'm gonna zoom out. Okay. We are now going to, since we folded this edge behind, we're gonna make a mountain fold on the next line and then make a valley fold. Then a mountain fold on the next one. And make a valley fold. And what you do is the same things we sort of do for the Ryujin scales is we're going to make folds like this. So mountain, valley, skip two units, valley, mountain, skip two units, mountain, valley. And just make it this formation, just like we do when we fold our agent scales. Can we do that? and continue these creases until we get to around, once we get past there, I will show you on the test board. Okay. So make these creases until you get to this end part right here, where you make this last loop right here. So basically, starting with this one folded behind, we have one, two, three, four, five of these little things. There we go. Now we are going to, let's see. As you can see right here, we have these now in place. And now we can start to make the up-down formation. So let me see here. Let's see, this will make this, okay. So what we're gonna do is right here, really hard to keep together. We're gonna make a valley fold starting right here. So you can see, no, we're going to make a valley fold starting right, yes, right here. So after we get the feet, which is this big mountain fold, this and this, we have a valley fold right here. Fold down on that valley fold 
keeping all of these in place. And just make a clear. So make that a valid fold and then the crease right above it and now fold. Like this. sure that all of these are pressed in, that there are no edges coming out. It's all pressed in, then you can crease it. Should already be creased sharply. Let's make sure. But now we're going to make another pleat. And pleat it like this. But only go until right there because what we're gonna start doing is we're going to make that a mountain fold. Well, you can see right here how we have this continuous line down. We're just going to pleat it back and forth, like how we do with Ryujin scales, just like this. So along that, we're going to make these folds. And this should be in, turned into a mountain valley, mountain valley, up and down, just like that. And along that crease, just make this. And then go until you get to this sort of square here. Well, it's all squares, but that cross. But make sure that this is all clean up and down. Not in valid. And you can go until right about here. So where this ends, just make a mountain fold. Like that. And end on that valley fold right there. So now if you have a clip or something you want to use, you can just put it right here. Um, a clothespin would be very good. Yeah, that is what I'm going to get. I'm just going to put a clothespin right there. Give this some room. And then a little bit later, we will work on the scales. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this. And right here, if you open this up, you should be able to see that we have a crease running like this. We're just gonna open it up. And right here where we have that mountain fold, just gonna make that mountain fold and continue the line in both directions. And then, the next part, next one, the valley forward, mountain valley, and continue that down. But right here, what you can do is you can just start pleating. On this end, you can start pleating mountain valley, mountain valley, mountain valley. Because what we're gonna do 
is press where we have this we're going to press this in and you can continue mountain valley on the other side as well and just make it all the way across and the same right here Make all these mountain valleys. And just press this down in here. Like this. And what you will see start to happen is that these will pop up. You go like that. And then do the same for all of the others. So just continue making these creases, pressing this down. You can look at the crease pattern. Make this valley fold. Then we should have that next one. And just continue that all the way down the line of these. And right here you can just look at that in the valley. There's no really special creases right here. Just my own body. You can also turn it over, which makes it a little bit easier. Makes it easier to get these creases in here. Make them neat. Once you get to the last one, you can see, once you get here, about maybe, yes, two away from the two and a half, I think, I'm not sure from this other side, but you will start to see these creases right here, and right there you will make those creases just like that and it's just a mountain fold through all these layers just like this and just continue making these creases and just you will get to the leg scales just do the mountain and valleys right here like 
find it, I find it a little bit easier. Then you will see this starts to come together like that. And for right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to, it's not like this in the crease pattern, but I find it a lot easier if you just crease this fully and make this and just squash it like that. It makes it a lot easier. So just squash it like that and press this all down. Leg scales are in here. And now all we have to do is get this head part. So just continue pressing this in. And making these creases. side you will have some basic creases like this. Just continue crease from here. This is going to be the wing. When we shape it, I will show you how to get that to match the other wing. So now just continue pressing this down. And on this side, just make these creases. Continue in the valley. Just like that. And then this should be fully collapsed like this. And then right here, we'll just fold it in half. And then we will have this. And what you see here is, right here's the head. This is a wing. Then this is a wing. When we make the official fold, well, this is your fold. When we um, shape it, we will fold these wings up and then this we will turn. It's hard to explain, but we will do what Satoshi Kamiya does on his ancient dragon legs. And that's how I made the wing similar to this. So we have the same length. So that is this part. And now I'm going to show you how to get the leg scales mostly in place, except for the scales. So just clip all of this. I'm just gonna clip it back here. Just like that. And now we can focus on the leg scales. So, First, what I'm gonna do is I am going to make these folds that we made. So make this little mount, this happy in it, mountain fold all the way across here and make the valley fold after it a little bit easier. So, yeah. And then make the mountain fold. So mountain fold 
one unit up from the valley for the mirror. Then you'll make the valley fold right here and then the mountain fold right after that. Now just press these units in place like how we sort of collapsed them when we pre creased. So that should not be that difficult. Just like that. Right here, like this. Now we should have something that looks like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna unclip this so that this will make it a lot easier. And I'm going to actually clip these ends right here. Like that. So now we're going to take this and open it all the way up. So I will clip the ends. Just like that and open it all the way. Okay, so now we just spread this out. 100%, just spread it all out. Get it all the way down here. Okay, now we are going to make the transition unit. So, I'm going to unclip this, just so we can see in here a little better. We're going to make this mountain fold. Fold it onto here. I do the transition units just collapsing them just by pressing in and everything. I don't do the whole method with turning them into squares. So if you want to do a different method method for collapsing them, that's fine. But what I do is just press it all together. I'm gonna show you what but they're very hard to explain. But if you want to learn scaled origami things, then they normally have transitions. So, what's happening is this edge is wrapping around here, like this. And, okay. it's really hard to get these when you, when you collapse them by hand. The other side is a little bit easier. What you do is you, Make these mountain valley folds. Make these mountain valley folds and just, as you can see here, this is a mountain fold and this is a mountain fold. And then this and this and this are mountain folds. So, easiest way to do that is to press this in, make these folds right here and make along these folds, just fold this over. 
Let me show you this. A transition unit looks like this. What you do is, to collapse them, is you could extend this fold to here, and this fold all the way, and make these folds like this, fold this back and forth, squash this, and sink one corner. But I like to collapse them out of just right there instead of doing that whole process. So I find the easiest way to do it is hold these two sides, make all the mountain fold or well, the pleats like this. And then press this in to make this should these three folds should be valleys and that should be a mountain. So just take it and press it in like that. And you should have something like this. So, now let's get back to the real model. The transition units on this are much smaller, but they're the exact same thing. This one right here is on the back looks the same as this one when it's collapsed except this flap right here is on the other side, right here. But other than that, it is the same on the back as this is on the front. So now let's turn this back over. And on the back, it looks like, on the, from the front, it looks like this. Whereas on the back on this one, it looks like that and then it works. So now what you can start to do is you can start to, this is what I like to do, is since we have this area collapsed, we can start to make that mountain fold and start to collapse these, and these folds a tad bit farther. Just like that. Now we can make this fold, this mountain fold and fold it over to here. And make the next mountain fold, fold it over to here. And we will make the same folds as we did on the back of this one. So we can make, it's easiest to make this mountain fold and just continue. And what I like to do is take this square and just make it, press it in like this. And I like to just press it in on all sides, just for now, just like that. And what you actually do for this one, this transition unit, is when you get it, you fold it over. So it should look something like this. And then you can extend these folds. Like this. And we have a transition unit up to here, collapsed. And 
Now we will do the same thing on this side. So unclip here and make the transition units. Oh, I forgot to pre-crease the transition units on this side. So let me do so. Here I pre-crease the transition units. And now we can do the same thing. So make the pleats. Press this down. Just like this, and then you can turn it over. And make those creases stronger. So here we go, we have this transition unit almost in place. So now we can go on to, here is the next one. No, here's this one, first one. And then we have this, one up here so we can make this a valley fold right here there we go that this should come like that then we can flip it over and since this transition unit is now in place we'll we can pop that up Here it is, it's in place now. And just continue making these pleats. Start to close this in. Now we can do this last transition unit up here. So, make this fold, mountain fold, make these pleats. And you can match these transition units to the one on the ones on the other side because the transition units are symmetrical. Then you can press this in. And here we go, starting to press this in, there. Now we have these folds in place. Let me try and get this mountain forward, it's very important. Now we can start to press this all together. And squash this square right here. And now we can make this pleat like that. And make the bottom two like this. Press it all together and you can close this. Those are not the official leg scales. Right there, we will make the leg scales 
these diagonal creases in the next video, so in the next part, so stay tuned and for that. Lastly, in this video, we're going to make the transition units for these scales. So we should have these already pre-creased and we can get collapsing. But I'm actually, first I'm going to make this clip it all together right here. Just like this. Oh yes, there's one final thing we can do on the legs. Right here, we can make these reverse folds. And then we can press this in. Like that. So that, now you have the one and the transition units for the leg scales. So now we have that, and now we can clip it up. There we go. And we actually don't clip it yet because you still have to get in there for the transition units. So for the first two transition units, they are the same as the ones we did on the leg scales. So I'm going to go through those very quickly. There we go, and you can tuck this behind that if you want. So it should look like that. Now you can go to this next one and make these pieces. start to make this pattern right here. Now I'm going to show you the ones that have, they're the same, but they just have these two creases on top. So let me show you how to collapse those. They are not hard at all. All you do is open up where they are and make the folds like you were going to for this. Then turn it over, it's a lot easier. And all you're gonna do that's different from the real, from, well not the real, these are the real ones mostly, from the other ones is you are going to just make this fold like that. Just fold that over. And the rest is the same. Do this.
just the only thing is that you will see that that interlocks over that. Just like this. And then you can tuck this behind and just continue making transition units all the way down for all the ones that you've pre-creased. This is the end of part four. In part five, we will work on doing the scales. I will show you the top scales, then I'll have you do the bottom scales, and then I will show you all of the leg scales, okay? And then we will have the base fully collapsed, and then in part six, we can start shaping. I don't know how long shaping will be, but it might, I don't know if it will be one or two parts. So, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next part. <laughs>